Now, if you're like me, you don't eat to live, you live to eat. I'm Tom Dalton from the Emmy Award winning PBS television program, Under the Radar Michigan. And if you're a bona fide foodie, you gotta follow me to this place. You know, I wanted to come to this restaurant for one reason and one reason only. Well, actually two reasons. One, I hear the chef's a really nice guy and he makes incredible local fresh food. But the other reason is, what's with the name, Roquette's Burger Bistro? What's Roquette mean? How do you even say it right? It does sound kind of fancy though. Well, however you say it, Paul Ramey has created a sophisticated little place that takes the term burger joint to a whole different level. What's up with the name? What is, Ro it's Roquette's Rock Rocket. It's just a French word for arugula. Um, and years ago, my wife and I fell in love with it. We started growing too much Rocket. So we started selling it to other people and our little farm business became Rocket Farm. And that name just kind of stuck with us. Okay, now that we've got this whole rocket thing down, it's important to note that this Burger Bistro is kicking out more than just burgers. It's a full-on local food experience hosted by a full-on food nut. Consider yourself a food geek? Yeah, yeah, I would uh, I would push it that far. I mean, I, I eat, sleep, drink food. I mean, if, if it's a spare moment, I'm thinking about food. And lucky for us, a while back, Paul started thinking about burgers. When I came up with the idea of a burger place, I came up with that idea because I wanted a good burger and I couldn't find one. Um, so I finally said, you know, I'm gonna make a good burger. So then I started sourcing beef and I started sourcing other ingredients. And I'm like, if I'm gonna go through all this effort to make good food, then I'm gonna make everything. You know, I'm gonna start making my ketchup. I'm gonna start making my pickles. Yeah, cause you don't seem like the kind of guy that would have the food service truck pulling up out back. Um, it, that creates a problem for me because uh, those, those times when I do need some of those food service items, I don't have the trucks pulling up. Right. I have to physically go out and get those things and bring them back to the restaurant. I mean, my day starts with, you know, I've got to get to this farm. I've got to get to this farmer's market. You know, I've got to pick up my beef. So you know the guy that's producing the, or that's giving you your beef. You, oh, yeah. you know the people that are giving you your vegetables. I, your I know, I know these cows intimately, you know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I know them before their burgers. And the beauty of that is, uh, you know, there's, there's great food here in Northern Michigan. Coincidentally, Paul gained his appreciation of local foods in this area from one of our former esteemed UTR guests. These guys were deeply ingrained in local food long before local food was cool. Right, um, right. And I didn't understand that. I, I didn't understand that appreciation when I met him and I started working for him. But when I started making preserves and saw that, you know, simple ingredients treated properly make great food, right. um, that kind of sparked the obsession. Everything's full circle. We're going back to what the right way to do things, which is you buy what you're gonna eat that day or the next exactly. because it's fresh. And that's part of the beauty of Northern Michigan is, is you have distinct seasons. Right. But the beauty of seasonality is, is when asparagus is in season, right. celebrate asparagus, you know. Do everything you can with asparagus. And then when it's gone, miss it. Just like we're gonna miss Rocket Burger Bistro. I mean, when you've got this kind of passion behind your food, there's no doubt you're gonna eat well. I want this to be an experience when you step in here, you know? Right. I want that first bite to, to drip down your chin and down your fingers. Stop, I haven't eaten lunch. <laughs> well, Rocket Burger Bistro sure was a fulfilling experience, with the emphasis on both full and filling.